जय श्री राम दिस इज अ जी आर ई एस ए टॉपिक दे यूज द वर्ड प्रॉम्ट वी यूज द वर्ड एस ए टॉपिक सो ऑल स्टूडेंट शुड बी रिक्वायर्ड टू टेक ए कोर्स इन एथिक्स इवन इफ इट मीन्स रेड्यूज एम्फोसिस ऑन अदर एकेडमिक सब्जेक्ट्स now you are free to write an essay 30 minutes you can agree or disagree or you can explain to what extent you agree so these are the standard instructions so you have 30 minutes and you should be able to write at least 400 words so you should be ready with a standard introduction where you take a position take a clear position don't uh, leave it to the reader to guess where you stand on it okay so uh, now should all students should be why why you remember who what where when why how It is a framework you can use to analyze any question who what where when why how why should such a thing be done why should all students be required to take a course i think yes because the level of crime is increasing in society worldwide and new types of crimes are being committed and there seems to be a total loss of moral values and people seem to be only concerned about their selfish pleasure and they are willing to commit any crime to, uh, uh, in the pursuit of money so in such a world i think there is something seriously wrong and therefore ethical values are missing uh, therefore we need to have some grounding in ethics and therefore every student should be required which means the family has failed which means the society has failed the school has failed um, the universities have failed us they might be wonderful libraries but in real life where are ethics in action okay so these are some reasons you can mention one paragraph you can write about why yes you why you think yes this is necessary that all students should take a course in ethics where they will be required to examine foundational principles of great religions in fact you can mention this there's no harm because the major religions of the world for your information there are 4300 religions in the world the major religions are maybe you can count on your fingers four or five but you will find that even these major religions are fundamentally flawed and they are grossly unethical because once you start believing in absurdities you will commit atrocities with impunity because you will feel that it is a god given command so you have a right to proselytize the infidel hmm? uh, proselytize means to convert infidel is a term for an unbeliever that means a person who doesn't accept your religion so you have to proselytize the infidel and if he is not willing to be converted or get proselytized you have a holy duty to kill that fellow and you can resort to deception too in case if you are not strong uh, befriend him gain his confidence and backstab him if these are things that are taught in holy books now what else can you expect but a society full of criminals and felons posturing as uh, great people <laughs> as mahatmas uh, as saints some criminals many criminals have been canonized as saints too okay now you may not uh, you may not go ahead and write exactly whatever i am telling you but i think you have understood the content for your first, first paragraph would be why there is a strong need for doing so okay next question should be uh, what is the best way to rectify the situation you must write about that is conducting a course good enough well i think it's all right because people can be forced to examine ethical dilemmas moral dilemmas so many are there moral dilemmas are there you go to google and type about uh, type moral dilemmas you will get many so you can talk about moral, moral dilemmas in the second paragraph and uh, young ch- young people hmm, adolescents even adults and school kids too can be uh, can be given these moral dilemmas on which they should think and they should give an independent answer deism that means belief in god but uh, no need for any holy book where you can use your brain your critical thinking abilities to ask questions and answer those questions yourself after all god has given you such a wonderful brain which is the most powerful super computer on the planet do you need a holy book for that <laughs> think about it so uh, now that is will be the second second thing would be yes what are the things that we can do to instill ethical values have a course in it but simply having a course is not good enough because somebody can get uh, 90% marks and still be a criminal a psychopath 
so merely conducting a course is not sufficient they should be uh, forced to participate in uh, debates where they are challenged with very uncomfortable questions which they will have to consider and answer uh, so that is one thing and reading and debating and dialectical discussions and uh, uh, traveling all over the world so that you can see the ground realities so people who think women are inferior and promote misogyny in their holy books there will be so much misogyny that women are inferior less intelligent women should not uh, you know get uh, as much property as the male does so all kinds of very violently criminal ideas are there if these is true then they they the students must be exposed to the ground realities of how they are suffering on account of these kind of irrational dogmas so going around seeing the reality is also or field trips should be organized so that young people should be exposed to harsh realities that can give them a better insight into what is truly ethical and what is seemingly ethical but actually grossly immoral so there are so many things that go into it next next paragraph you can actually write four four paragraphs on these themes who what where when why how ah and then uh, reduced emphasis on other subjects okay uh, well maybe one optional or maybe one compulsory course must be there where all the other activities which we just discussed should be included and i think uh, the next paragraph you will talk about how socialization also matters this is an ethics or installing instilling ethics is not the function of a school primarily at least the school can play a secondary role uh, the primary role is that of religion culture the political setup if you have a democracy there is a higher probability that people will be more ethical in any other form of government for example a theocracy ruled by priests and religion a communist state then people will have a very stunted kind of uh, development in their capacity to examine ethical issues uh, they will blindly go by their holy book or by the dictator who is ruling them so the political system the media the movies uh, you see unfortunately in india bollywood is promoting an anti intellectual culture and anti hindu uh, and they are actually waging a jihad against hinduism uh, they won't dare to ask any uncomfortable questions of other religions so this kind of a setup is again dangerous so we are actually dealing with a very powerful force field uh, uh, well i would like to liken it to a simple analogy you cannot apply amrutanjan on cancer you cannot put a band aid on cancer so uh, when the school even if the school is conducting a course if the whole of the society is grossly immoral and it is a powerful force field which is teaching kids uh, that you can get away with crime and only criminals seem to be successful so they will conveniently ignore what is taught in school so what is taught in school about ethics will amount to something like a bomb on cancer any bomb cannot cure cancer so the more powerful uh, influencer is the uh, force field which includes the political system the religion the culture the movies the media the teachers the parents the peer pressure the social media and all these things form a very very powerful force field so reform in religion is number 1 if your holy book holy book is teaching you utterly unethical things dogmas which are dangerously criminal how can you expect a society to be moral so you will talk about that so socialization is the process by which a child acquires knowledge Mm, that is the informal education process so the formal education process is in the school so the school comes later the informal education process is much more powerful socialization is what we call it so we need to do something uh, uh, to rectify the uh, fallacies and faults in the uh, entire force field which i just mentioned so you will talk about that and then we must uh, one more paragraph you will glorify only those role models uh, you cannot glorify a man as a mahatma or a great saint when if you look up his biography you will be shocked at the kind of activities that he has uh, been undertaking and the utterly reprehensible statements that that person has been making so if you glorify criminals saints uh, as great say uh, great people criminals and mafiosis and gangsters and psychopaths uh, uh if you glorify them 
as great people what can you expect from the generation from any new generation so you need to be very careful about whom you are glorifying those statues that you install at every nook and corner of the city if that fellow is a criminal and he has written great books which are full of nonsense utterly irrational crap and if you are glorifying them what can you expect of society and do you think young people are going to listen to you then <laughs> so this is a serious topic it's a very interesting topic i don't know how much of whatever i am saying you can include in your essay but i'm sure i have made you may i have made you thinking right you have started thinking and please keep uh, please write an essay and uh, type it out send it on whatsapp i'll be very glad to give you an audio feedback this is a challenging essay theme on this theme there are several issues so please prepare write one uh, who what where when why how how should we go about doing this is there a better way yes we can this is also necessary you know diet plus supplementary you know if your diet is even if your diet is not deficient taking a b capsule or some uh, uh, multivitamin is uh, is not bad it is good so 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 many things have to fall into place so you will give these analogies and write a nice essay hmm? and your conclusion will be a paraphrasing of the introduction jai shri ram